<laughs> oh, barely. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As my right honourable friend knows, I take every opportunity to champion the work of the Private Law Working Group and the Family Solutions Group. And in 2020, their reports clearly set out the need for change in family law and why it's really important we do that for families. What steps is he taking to increase resolution of family disputes inside and outside courts? Thank you. So uh, say. Can I thank my honourable friend? She's absolutely right. I re met recently with the president of a family division. Uh, around 60% of the cases that go, uh, certainly on the civil side, are safeguarding or domestic abuse cases. They ought to go. But for the uh, for, for the rest, I think we need to be looking at the incentives and disincentives, the use of mediation. Uh, and the whole structure of the system to prevent what are harrowing cases, particularly harrowing for children, uh, but in any event, because many of those do not need to go uh, through the courts, and I'm working with the judiciary to try and achieve that reform. 